What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Shellcade Shelling Down Under. Today is an absolutely beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky, super low tide and let's get straight out into the shelling. Not a cloud in the sky and look at this view, is not is it not heaven? Check it out. So in today's video we are hoping to find a helmet shell or uh, any sort of textile, of course I love finding my textile cones. You guys know that. Uh, the reason I am doing a voiceover today is because, uh, if you can't tell by my voice, I'm rather sick. But let's get straight into the video. The swell is actually really low today compared to the last three days. Okay, so what do we have down here? Look at this beautiful shell pile, man. This is just so, so perfect for any shower. Okay, it looks like we have half of a eroded cowrie. Nothing else there yet, but let's check over the other side. It is so awesome to see this. Okay, we've got a little scallop here. These ones are really nice, but I have way too many of them. Okay, we've got two blue cowries here. They are rather common here. Um, I'd say I found maybe 60 to 70 of these. I tend not to keep them, but I do use them a lot in my giveaways. So if you want to be entered into that, just simply subscribe. I do a giveaway every single month on the 20th. Then within minutes of going into the search we find the best shell of the day and what seems to be a live uh, checkered bonnet. These ones are super super nice. This one in particular is great condition. Check out that pattern on top of the shell. And the easiest way to tell that it's live is because it has a white muscle inside. Now here is the top find of the day so far. Uh, it is a milk spot cowrie or a deer cowrie. Uh, Cipre Vitellus, I believe. The uh, names of every shell will be up on screen, but that is obviously you can see I'm really, really excited about that. Its condition is beautiful. I think it just needs some TLC on top of that to get the calcification away. The swell is super, super flat today. This is really satisfying for any shell to see. Just these uh, debris and shell piles is super, super nice to see. But we're just going to take a walk through here and see what we come up with. Okay, what is under here? Ooh, what do we think? Ah, it's a piece of a triton. Damn. And that was actually occupied. I do remember looking and seeing a little crabby in there. I was actually a bit scared to hold it because it did. What do we got under this rock here? Ooh, what is that? Is that a bonnet? Yes, it is a bonnet. It is a hole though. Is it worth keeping? Nope. It was missing its entire spire, I'm pretty sure. But they are pretty common here. What do we got here? Another common shell, just as I was speaking about it, a, uh, a snakehead cowrie. These ones are probably, well, I probably find 10 to 15 a day. Honestly, these guys are everywhere. Here we have just a really, really eroded common cowrie. So I just chucked that back for somebody else who might enjoy it more than me. Next we have up is an eroded cowrie or Cipre erosa. Now in this video, we find a bunch of them. Let's keep moving a bit far forward and see what we get. Alrighty, looks like we have another checkered bonnet. But this guy, uh, it had a little uh, renter there, I guess, but it had its own shell, so it was not uh, taken away from the animal. It was just sitting on it, so I think that was fair, fair play to him. But it is clearly a pretty nice, uh, what is it, checkered bonnet. They're really nice here. They're also pretty common, though. Alright, as I said, another Cipre Erosa. There's tons and tons of these in this video. I'd say I got about, oh, I won't, re I won't spoil it for you guys, but we did get a lot of beautiful ones. What do we got here? Oh, it looks like this was a piece of Strombus. I do remember this. Been a really nice piece of Strombus as well. That's just a common blue cowrie, as I said earlier. We do get a lot of common uh, blue and eroded cowries here. As you can see today, I am sporting the Bunnings hat this time. I'm trying to stay away from the sun. Here we have another excellent shell now. This one was a surprise to me because uh, I don't find too much when lifting up under rocks and to find a donkey cowrie is quite rare for us. I think I've only found about 25 to 30 of those and they are always broken because they're so tiny and fragile but they are extremely nice i love the pattern just lifting up some more rocks here remember guys 
whenever you're lifting up rocks to try and find shells, always put them back where you found them because animals do live under there. I try to remember it all the time, but sometimes I do forget, as you do, I am human. But here we have another checkered bonnet. Now these guys are everywhere, as I've said before. I believe it is a Cassius Phallium, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the name will be down below, I'm not reading it off screen, so I'm just going off what I remember. Did you guys see the amount of animals that were living under that that rock? That was very cool, and that's the reason why you got to flip them back over all the time. You just don't know what's under there, or what, it, what was living under there. So, yeah. Alrighty guys, let's take another trip. Here I thought I found a Strombus again, but the tip was broken, so I was a bit upset. Here we have our first moon snail of the day. Now, we haven't found too many of these recently, me, Brett and I, and sometimes Craig when he decides to come to the beach for a search. But yeah, it's been pretty bare on the uh, moon snail shells, which is rather surprising because they're usually everywhere here. What do we got under here? Oh yes, a piece of rubbish. I remember this. Definitely clean those. Uh, whenever you see trash around the beach, we definitely want to pick those up. What do we have around the front side of these rocks? Oh, what do we got here? What do I see? What do I see? Comment down below right now what you think the next shell is that I'll find. Oh, here it is. And oh, what a surprise, it's another erosa. Erosas are everywhere here, guys. This is what I'm trying to say. They are just so, so popular here. It's crazy. What do we have around the corner? Okay, it looks like, yep, another blue cowrie. This one in particular is super, super good condition. It's what I would call a freshie. These are super nice to find. Here we have, yep, another erosa. Somebody comment down below in the comment section at the end of the video how many erosa, erosa cowries we found. Sorry about that. Comment down below how many we found and I will uh, send you 100 of them if you guess correctly. Then, uh, no, I can't do that. Well, I'll give, you, I'll give you as many as I found in that video. I actually don't have 100. Uh, if I had a hundred, that would be hoarding because I don't need a hundred. I would much prefer leaving shells there for other people. But if you do comment down below and I pick you, then I will send you as many as I got in this video. Anyhow. Let's see what we got up next. What do we have? I'm here looking around, looking around. This is where I find a lot of my smaller shells, like little textiles. Uh, a lot of my really nice cowries. Here's another scallop from the first part of the video. I got way too many of these. Ah, another moon snail. These ones are picking up in the video. That's excellent. Around this little site here where I'm digging through here is where I've found a considerable amount of really good stuff. So I always tend to look here as much as I can. Even under the span sand, especially under the sand. What do we have here? What do we have here? What do we have here? Ah, yes. I'm not sure on the name of it. Maybe a call a car or something but I have found pretty oh, I'd say I've found three or four in the last couple of days so that's actually pretty exciting what do we have here hey another erosa comment down below guys don't forget you got to count all of these eroded galleries and if you get it correctly I'll send you all of them um, I will be picking a random person here we have a friendly neighborhood sea hare stuck in the dry of the low tide effect. Now, I see these guys everywhere at the beach. I probably see 30 or 40 a day, and at least half of them get stuck out in the low tide area. And they get stuck out there where there's no water and they just start drying up. So I try to do my best to take all of them back out to the water or in little uh, tide pools. We have another Erosa, of course, and a Lion's Paw Scallop. Now, these ones are really rare for me to find here. I do not find many at all, so that was pretty cool seeing one, especially that condition. And we're back at my Volute Corner. This is where I get all of my big Volutes here and there. I haven't found one in quite some time, though. Here is a, uh, it's okay condition. Uh, scotch bonnet but we'll keep it for the giveaways if you didn't know i collect all of these shells in a drawer that i find every or over the last month and i give them away to one lucky subscriber 
on the 20th of every single month. And that drawer usually fills up with about 100 to 150 shells. So I love to give it back to you guys. And thank you for supporting the dream, I guess. What do we got here? Another bonnet. Now this one was really nice, I thought. I think it just needs some TLC, needs some bleach bar bathing. And that'll come out spunk. But yeah, I do uh, actually clean all of the shells at once in a massive bucket before the end of the giveaway. So all the shells are indeed clean when you guys receive them so don't worry about them smelling bad now here i always search for balls or like handballs or tennis balls for my doggo daisy because she really likes uh tennis balls and all that sort of thing especially handballs and whenever i see him at the beach i take him home and she she knows she loves them so i had to use my tongs because this is a common uh, what is it? Blurring octopus area. So I was very cautious about sticking my hand in some random hole just there at the beach. Okay, here we have another bonnet, but that one had lost its entire spire, so I just thought, nah, it's not good enough. But on the other hand, this one was pretty nice, I believe. So I did indeed keep that for the giveaways. At the end of the day, I probably only keep about two shells for myself. Here is a large hairy triton, and this one was actually live. You can see the mollusk inside. That's the green thing inside there, and he was kind of drying up a bit. Again, in the tire in the high tide pools, so I decided to put him back in the water. This bonnet here I actually retrieved from about two feet deep of water. I could see it just in my uh, peripheral vision and I decided to jump in and get it. My pants got pretty wet so I had to take off all my gear and leave the camera there in case you know I dropped it or anything but it was a very very nice bonnet and I indeed kept it for myself because it was very very nice. Alright we're back at the start here just checking over all the rocks making sure I didn't miss anything and it doesn't look like there's too much left now but to continue to watch to the end of the video because you do not want to miss whatever we found Ooh, check out this cat cone this was absolutely That's my best cat cone, cone ever cone. you can't tell too well about the uh, print on it but if you want to check it out check a check a better photo of it out go to my Instagram and I will be posting a better photo and video of it there so how have you guys enjoyed the voiceover today was it interesting or would you rather me talk in front of the camera like I usually have done I've never done a voiceover like this so let me do let me know down in, in the comments if you guys really enjoyed this voiceover or not so here's a look at everything we found through the day obviously the best find of the day was the milk dot cowry or the deer cowry I'd say the next up would definitely be that cat cone though that was that was gem honestly that's the best cat cone I've ever seen and that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. And don't forget to check out shellcade.com if you want to get started shelling today.